This is Unavowed. Uh, it's the latest adventure game from Wajedi Games, and uh, they are some of my favorite people in the industry. I mean, I don't know any of them personally, uh, but uh, their games are really cool. They take a genre that, you know, for all intents and purposes, uh, appeared to die uh, sometime in the 90s. And they've been keeping it going uh, in a very serious way. So let's start a new game from scratch. I have not touched this yet. May you be snatched away from this place. You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment. As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit. Ah! Silence! Now, answer true. Are you demon, man, or woman? Um... Hmm. Demon, your power over her mind is waning. Release her now! Release her before I am forced to destroy you! Remember! You are human! Remember! Tell us! Before the demon regains control, your name. Tell us your name. So there aren't a lot of adventure games where you get to actually name and pick the gender of your character. I'm kind of uh, confused and entertained by this. So um, my name is, I don't know, Bree. Did you hear that, evil spirit? She knows herself. She is yours no longer. Now your past. Tell me something about your past. Your profession. Quick. <laughs> so I kind of want to uh, go back and just be a demon and be a jerk the whole time. Uh, at least see how that goes. Uh, bartender. Yes. She's beginning to remember. Night after night, you pour drinks and help people forget their troubles. You give them the strength to push forward, to prevail. Now it's your turn. Take your own advice. Fight it! Remember who you are! Remember! So a year earlier than that? This tree often does double duty as Sammy's second bathroom. Okay, if there's a bunch of text on the bottom of the screen, I should take a moment to move my head up here. Um, so I like the fact that they're not making me set, like walk over and you know observe something in order to get a text description of it. I can just see it uh, like a tooltip. It does make you know moving the mouse quickly kind of a, a, a busy experience for your eyes, but. Uh, I think it's worth it. I can just get a lot of context about who these characters are. So I can still walk up and interact with this tree, but it looks like all there is to do is just read the description that's already there. That's interesting. Hey, wait. Uh, hey, long time no see. Logan? I shouldn't be here. I know. I need your help. He's my brother. You remember Jonah? He's in there. He's bad. Badder than me on my worst day. Your boss called me to take him home, but... Hmm. No. I thought I could, but I just can't go in there. The smell of that place. I just can't. The first thing they tell you is not to enter a chin joint if you can avoid it. I've gone four years. I can't lose them. Not even for him. Hmm. That's Thank cool. You. you have no idea. Just talk to him, okay? He practically lives in this place. You know him better than I do. And don't tell your boss I'm out here. I don't think she likes me too much these days. Wait a minute. Sammy's a girl? Sammy uses the bathroom on this tree? Sammy's gotta be somebody's dog. Here. Do I look okay? I swear to things I gotta deal with. 
<sighs> Fuck this. After tonight, I'm done. I quit. Is Jonah here? Yeah, Jonah's here. And I'd like that to stop. I thought Logan was a mean trunk, but Jonah? He's worse. He came in here all twitchy and looking scared. He asked for a whiskey and I gave it to him. Then he started crying. Then he started screaming. Now he's locked himself in the damn bathroom. Uh, so one thing that's weird is I, I kind of expected, you know, when you had that, we had that starting scene up on that, it looked like it was on a rooftop and I was getting exercised. Um, and then it says a year ago. So I've already backpedaled a year to this scene. Um, a year seems like a lot of time for the story to cover. It actually kind of makes me nervous rather than making me excited to see how this person's... Like, if it had said a week ago, I would have been like, oh, okay, so we're going to see what led up immediately to that possession scene. But now I'm like, a year? How could anything I do now be relevant? Uh, you know, it, it it's not having the positive effect that I think it might have been meant to have. I called up his brother Logan, that's what. But it looks like his precious sobriety is more important than helping his brother. But maybe... Look, maybe you can get him out of there. He's always listened to you. So, I'm a bard- So, would I be playing a completely different opening if I'd chosen police officer? Or if I'd just chosen Damon and fought it the whole time? Honestly, I'm surprised he's still standing. Look, just get him out the door. He can scream at the rats in the park for all I care. I'll just wait here. Hey there, Savage Fox. Welcome to the chat. Of course, of course uh, Cloudcraft's already here. Um, I forgot to mention him by name earlier. Okay, so this is Sammy. She, she pees on a tree? Seems weird. All right, well, let's head over to the WC. Go away, Sammy. Oh, it's you. I just, I just can't. No, no, shut up. Just stop. I'm sorry. It's, it's not you. You've always been good to me. I know you tried. It just didn't work. Just leave me alone. Them. They just won't leave. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I can't, I can't. Not till, not till, no. Damn it, no. Just go away, get out. What did I tell you? Huh. You wanna cuddle him? Do it when you're not here. But take my advice and stay away from guys like that. I know it's not good for business, but some people just shouldn't drink. Crap like that runs in the family. We should have barred Jonah along with his drunk ass brother. Hmm. I said go away. Oh, the key? Yeah, I guess that'll work. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You want the truth? I didn't use the key because Jonah's scaring the hell out of me. I was gonna give the key to Logan, but he's a no-show. Guess he'll have to do. Okay, so got a key. Stick it in a lock. Ah! That door for a reason. Uh, no. I, I don't think I can do that. They keep talking to me. With the begging and pleading and crying. Can't you hear them? They are so loud. I know it sounds crazy, and I tried to pretend she didn't exist. But now, there are so many, so, so many. I close my eyes, they're there. I try to sleep, they're there. I tried to drink, they are still here. They got so bad, my boss fired me. Me, just like they fired my brother. It just keeps getting worse. I can't make them go away. There are dozens of them. Hundreds. They're surrounding me, surrounding you. I can't stop them. All I can do is join them. Yes, I do. I have to join the Army of the Dead. The only way to do that is to die. 
Yeah, they started coming about a month ago. First goes Kay, a little girl. She told me I was chosen. Then I started seeing more and more everywhere. They won't leave me alone. If I have to die to make it stop, then so be it. I know. I know. I'm a coward. I've been working up to it. Trying. Counting back from ten. And starting over. I don't want to die, man. I, I don't want to die. Why is this happening? Right. The gun. Here. Just take it. Thanks. You and Sammy, man. You've always been good to me. And this book. You can take this, too. <laughs> because I was desperate, okay? It's about spirits and ghosts and stuff. It had techniques to make them go away. But I think it's just made it worse. Take it, will you? I just don't want to look at it. Cool. Ah! <laughs> what? Oh, no! Right. Let's go. I will send What? What? Was that a gunshot? To Jonah? What? Oh, holy crap. Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. Okay. In the name of myself. My witness and the soul whom you hold captive. I cast you out. Gotcha. The <laughs> that was one hundred percent unexpected. Uh, somewhere in Brooklyn. Stand back! Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away. The spirit is gone. That lady's harmless. <laughs> That's me, totally harmless. See, she doesn't even remember how she got here. Looks like her memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled? Why? It happens. I apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please, come with us, and we will explain everything. Uh... Because I am cold, soaking wet, and I have been outdoors all night. However, if you want to stay up here, you are welcome to. Look, she's... Uh, we've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Hi, Dan31. Come on downstairs. When you're ready, we'll explain everything. Where the good guys? Honest. Because <laughs> bad guys never say that. So have I just been on a killing spree for the past year? Is that is that what what's been going on? I'm still weirded out that that first scene was a year ago. Do take your time. Soak it all in. Oh, holy crap. Uh. An old woman lies crushed under the table. And then, oh, who's ah? It's impaled to the heart. Ugh. Okay. So, do you remember anything? Anything at all? Your answer is within your question. Hell, indeed, happened here. These innocents. Innocence of the city who I have sworn to protect were destroyed by your hands. My hands? I I'm afraid you could. Do that? And, uh, you did. No. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you murdered that man Jonah in cold blood and that bartender. Your body did, if that's what you mean. That bar's been a condemned site ever since. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we. And it is fortunate that we found you first. 
These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. That uh, isn't, you know, if you're trying to help me uh, overcome my guilt, that might not be the best approach. No, you can't do that. He is correct. Punishing yourself is not the answer, and would expose us. If you want to see justice done, help make it right. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going... Yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did, and it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away, but we should not tarry. All right, well, let's go. Fresh air at last. A padlock, of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps she can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, anything big or heavy should do. One thing that's kind of weirding me out is the lack of perspective. So you can see like there is a va definitely a vanishing point in this image. You can see, you know, I can see the left wall, I can see the right wall, and they're all disappearing in the background. But as I walk forward, my character doesn't get any larger. So you see, I'm like, I look like I'm much shorter than the door here. Well, I, when I'm up here, I'm, I'm more of a reasonable size relative to it. So it looks like we've got a puddle and some electricity, which makes me nervous. Got a pipe. Oh, ah, what are you? You've got to be kidding me. This place, much has changed. Preacher, who are you and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void by you. I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. I know what you are, Jen Child. I know you cannot speak Ooh. false. She's a genie. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. I merely followed it. Nobody here has done such a thing. Um, that might not be entirely true. Eli? On the roof, I used a lot of power. Probably enough to call the attention of, well, something like this. Neophyte mage, playing with forces you don't understand. A mage enough to burn you into a greasy smudge. You lie. I know a falsehood when I hear one. <laughs> I can smell your power, mageling. You have not left. You are nearly spent. And you, Jin Child, are so fatigued you can barely stand. <laughs> that may be true, but stand we shall. Since we're being so honest with each other, you don't look too healthy yourself. The journey Come stand over here. here was long and difficult. I used much of my energy getting here. Huh. So you're just as tired as we are. That's called a stalemate, friend. I do not wish to fight. I have no quarrel with either of you. Mm. I am merely hungry. Ah! That is all? What type of food do you require? <laughs> what? On this plane of existence, human flesh <laughs> is all that will sustain me. Of course it is. That's not gonna happen. Sorry. Agreed. We cannot allow that. Depart in peace. There need not be bloodshed. How do I get him I to walk into this puddle? To feed. I will die otherwise. The lady asked you to leave. You give me orders. 
Others? I summoned you. I do have that right. If you have the will to enforce it. Right. So, leave. What? I command it. Return across the void from where you came. Okay, hold on a second. How does plugging up the drain pipe make the puddle bigger? Eli, he is not okay. leaving. Oh, it's not pausing. Okay, fine. I could see that. Magely, you created no summoning circle, no spells of binding, no means of holding me. <laughs> <laughs> That was cool. He ate that my face. Creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. Oh! Uh, are you guys having an issue hearing the game? I hadn't thought about the game volume. Uh, I can make it a little bit louder if that would help. I know I've been avoiding talking because these guys are talking. Uh, let me know if that's enough, guys. We cannot say for sure. This creature is from across the void. There are so many that they defy categorization. It's a ligamental. A what? It's made up of ligaments and sinew. It fits. Very well. This creature is a ligamental. <laughs> Such agony. What manner of pain is this? It hurts, unlike anything I've ever experienced. Please, I got hit by lightning 20 minutes ago. Don't be such a baby. I... That stench. It can't be. You, a demon spawn on this plane? The corruption is still thick within you. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. There's a bunch I of must feed human flesh on upstairs. Human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What about the dead bodies inside? What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? <laughs> yes. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. Fresh meat. That is perfect. <laughs> Let me consume my fill, and I will leave you in peace. I... I do not think I can do that. It would draw too much attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families. Loved ones. They'll want closure. No, we're doing I this, guys. I am innocent too, Mageling. <laughs> you summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait. You're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. <laughs> yes. It is the most... practical solution. We're eating the Ugh, people. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Rise, creature. Eat your fill and be gone. Are you finished? <laughs> please, please, please be finished. Yes. I believe I can make the return journey and survive. Thanks be to you, Jin Child, Mage, Demon Spawn. I shan't trouble you again. He didn't need that much. It is done. It is over. Thank God. Let's get out of here. All in all, this was eventful. Yeah, eventful. We did fine work this night. We all did. I just got an achievement Agreed. called Burp. You showed immense fortitude, especially for one in your situation. <laughs> you want to tell her or should I? One year has passed since your possession. 
you're wanted by the police for many violent crimes. You certainly can't go back to that bar of yours. Indeed. Although I could certainly use a drink after tonight. The demon that infested you? That creature we just defeated? Mere taste of what is out there. And they just keep coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity. A new life. A new purpose. Normally there's a vetting process, but you more than proved yourself tonight. So, what say you? Will you join us? Hmm... Count me Thank in. God. Some new blood at last. Uh, sorry. That sounded much less creepy in my head. We are all tired. We can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mandana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me. Your life will never be the same. So, I like a game that starts with me murdering all my friends and then feeding a bunch of dead bodies to a demon. And having my face eaten off. Like, this, this game is like, it's hitting all the points for me. Hmm. So this is where I hang out now, that I'm uh, like a demon hunter? Axis of Weevil? Hmm. Framed photograph. Oh, hey! My friends that I murdered. I don't know if I murdered him. Might or might, I don't remember if they said I did or not. Kind of kind of killed all these people, though. That's, uh... That's, that's kind of weird. Hmm. Kind of sad. Some eclectic reading matter. A bed. Old sea chest. Little brass elephant with a memento of Siam right on the other side. Siam? How old is that if it says Siam on it? Typically we call that place Thailand now. Oh, hi. What? So she just lives in there? Can I, can I rub your, your lamp? Do not even consider it. <laughs> she won't let me rub her lamp. You are awake. Did you sleep well? Hmm. This astonishes you. After all you experienced. I suppose I should have seen this coming. Introduction to the supernatural world can often have unpredictable effects on the mundane mind. It may take some time for you to process it all. Who are you calling mundane? I believe you might be right. Especially if last night is any indication. I think you are going to make this transition just fine. And this is good, because there is so little time to waste. My father Kalash is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes. When you are ready, seek him out. In the meantime, relax and explore the facility. I will be here if you have any questions. Mm, Kalash, huh? Oh, hello. Some kind of blue guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the new one, aren't you? <laughs> yes, free will. It can be more trouble than it's worth. As for me, I am Kalash. I am a jinn of the ancient kingdom, and I run this branch of the Unavowed. And you? You were possessed. How would you let that happen? <laughs> it was a book. I touched it sloppy, and then... Sloppy. Sloppy. Yeah. Such a thing would have been unthinkable once. In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic <laughs> evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft. Needs toughening up. How tough are you, new girl? Hmm. <laughs> I got hit by lightning yesterday several times. Yes. 
While its back was turned, a child would be victorious in those circumstances. No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh yes, it will come. At any rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in, talk to the others, get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. All right. What? <clears throat> so it looks like, I, I doubt I'm gonna have time to really get into the, to the meat of the main story of this game. But I like the way they've they've set it up. Like they didn't just sort of start me as like you're a paranormal investigator, part of the unavowed. Like they gave me a really horrific backstory to get me into this. Um, but it, yeah, it was I don't know. It, it gives me I'm not quite feeling the suffering of this character. Uh, she's mostly snarky all the time, despite the fact that she's kind of lost everything. So I, I wish I was feeling that a little bit more strongly. But at the same time, I mean this was you know. It's a good way to get to know your main character. Really, you know, to start with um, a personal story of like why I'm here, and still have it feel like it's tied into you know into what's going on. I so, don't believe I gave you permission to leave. Oh, I need your permission, boss. <laughs> uh, Ablative is <laughs> responding to that genie saying, uh, "Man, I thought I hated millennials." <laughs> Oh, hello. Everybody's training. Hey! Don't surprise a fire mage like that. <laughs> Bad idea. Anyway, hi. You settling in okay? This place is... <laughs> You're throwing fire! You noticed. Yeah, I like to do this in my spare time. Keeps me sharp. But seriously, it took me a while to get used to this stuff. It's not gonna happen for you overnight, but you'll get there faster than you think. Anyway, I'm sure you want to walk around. I'll be here if you have any questions. Hmm, could I ask you a few questions? I don't see why not. Whoa, that's a lot. Oh, there's a photo on my wall. How'd it get there? Huh, you too, huh? Wasn't long after I joined up that my first photo appeared. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> what? It's something to do with this building. It wants you to remember who you are, who you were. Don't think about it too hard. I've been here 50 years and I still don't know how it works. Uh, so I'm betting it's going to respond to the choices that I make, sort of like a record of who I decide my character is. I know a little bit about that. What do you want to know? Uh, do, do, do. What do you do? Well, we're sort of supernatural police. Sometimes there's a threat that only we can handle. And we go and handle it. Well, I say sometimes, but lately it's been a lot more than that. Let me put it this way. There are 732% more threats than there used to be, give or take 0.5. A year ago, we'd what? usually be called out once a month, if at all. Now it's almost every day. And me and Mandana, we're the only ones dealing with it. Until now. Hmm. I'm not sure if once a month going to every day. I, uh, that doesn't sound like 700%. I feel like I feel like their math might be a little bit off. The the margin of error should be more than 0.5%. You know, I wondered the same thing when I first joined. I mean, we're careful. We use veils. I don't throw fire around Times Square or anything. But the real secret, nobody notices us. It's kind of uncanny mundanes go through crazy mental tricks to pretend we're not there so maybe the mundane world isn't ready for us yet but they will be they won't have a choice the way things are going gosh uh, a really long time sorry if you're looking for a history lesson mandana or kalash are the ones to ask as far as i'm concerned we do good work that's all that matters all right sure what about you i guess if we're gonna work together we should know each other. Ask away. Ooh, never use the word wizard. It's a social faux pas or something. I'm a mage with a capital M. The capital is also important. <laughs> At least that's what the books tell me. I never actually met another mage to find out. <laughs> okay. I like the writing in this game. Nope, kind of tingles, but that's it. 
It's kind of like playing with light, at least when it touches my flesh. Clothes, though, I can burn them clear off and I won't even notice. Took about a decade and a dozen indecent exposure arrests before I managed to make my clothes fireproof. <laughs> Since the Nixon administration, I'm, uh, older than I look. Okay, that's why he dresses so weird. If you must know, I'm 92. It's the magic. Keeps me young. No surgery required. Yeah, it... It is what it is, okay? No, I'm, I'm gonna keep mage. asking you questions Live about it. Live long lives. And a story. Oh, I wanted to keep asking him more questions about that. Oh, whatever. Sure. About last night. You had time to process it? I know I have. To be honest, I'm just glad the exorcism worked. It took four days of concentration to prepare that spell. I gave it everything I had. Four days? Well, yeah. When you deal with demons, you don't leave anything to chance. Not to mention lightning. If I hadn't prepared, it could have fried you. Not to mention me. I just wish I hadn't summoned that... thing. I know the creature was technically blameless, but I'm still not sure we made the right call. Still, I suppose it's too late now. Right. right. See you around. Let's find a little bit more from her, and then we'll probably uh, call it yes. quits. Mm. Eli is my partner, and a dear, dear friend. We have saved each other's lives more often than we can count. You and he have much in mm. common. He was once mundane, like yourself. I would recommend asking him about his transition. It might help with your own. Hmm. Certainly. What is your question? As a whole, for thousands of years. But the New York branch is only 400 years old. As long as there is need of us, we will be here. So the 1600s, New York was not protected from demons. We are peacekeepers. We protect the mundane world from the threats of the supernatural. We help who we can, destroy ones we must, and recruit those who are willing. With you, I suppose we did all three. Thank you. All right, I think I'm about out of time, but I, you know that uh, that adventure game got off to uh, a pretty good start. I really liked the writing, um, and I really liked uh, just I don't know the way that they, the way they uh, integrated my character into the story.